What is up, first fans? Welcome back to another edition of Cap or No Cap. Today we are talking about Jonathan Taylor. Ooh. And you know by that thumbnail, this could be disgusting. And not in a good way. No. My question is for Devin. Will All right, here's here I'm changing it around. Jonathan Taylor will finish as a top 12 running back by season's end. Ooh. Now he has to answer all those tough questions and decipher and code and all that stuff to let us know but if I'm that's a answer, cap or no cap. I'm going to answer it at the end of the video, though. So yeah. stay tuned. Yep. Yeah. And here's our intro. Welcome back. So, Devin, that gave you a little time to think about this. <laughs> Will Jonathan Taylor finish as a top 12 running back? Okay. Well, I mean, you got to put into consideration right now that he's not doing very well. Uh, and <coughs> 25th ranked running back. Yeah, he's not doing very well at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, Carson Wentz has never been that quarterback to complement the running game. Their offensive line has also not looked very well. The nope. offensive coordinator has left, so things have definitely mm. changed. Uh, and there's definitely a lot of things to put into consideration. Yep. But Jonathan Taylor has a lot of talent, okay? And right now, he's only at, he's only had one game over seven fantasy points. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good at all. Nope. But with all that talent, uh, I don't see them not using him. So I can see that increasing. And last year, before week 12, he averaged 10 fantasy points a game, which is not good. Nope. Uh, he finished the year in the top five. At, yeah, he at went the, on a tear season. those last, what, six or seven games, something like that? Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen again. <laughs> that was crazy. But I can see as the years, as the season progresses, them using him a lot more. And that uh, seven fantasy points is going to increase. So, uh, yeah. To eight fantasy points? <laughs> I, I can see a lot more uh, 10 to 15, maybe 20 fantasy points as the year progresses. Yeah. Um, well, he's not scoring touchdowns right now, and that's part of a problem, too. I mean, yeah. if he were just doing not great yardage but getting in the end zone, that helps solve some issues. Yeah. I mean, then it brings it from 7 to 13. I mean, that's way better. That's at least livable. I mean, seven's not livable. So they've just got yeah. Ryan so involved right now, and he's getting the good opportunities in those red zones. Yeah. If that doesn't switch, I'm worried. Yeah, I would definitely be too. Um, but, I mean, again, he has the talent. I don't know why they wouldn't use him. And uh, he is a good catching back. He has proven he is. Yeah. And he has the talent and athleticism to break a long one. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I don't know if you would, like, count on that every game. But during the season, I definitely think he definitely will. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I think he will, no cap, finish in the top 12. Okay, so he's going to do it. I think he'll do wow, it. Wow, he'll be a top 12. Yeah, I would uh, hmm. actually trade for him if you can. Yeah, see if you can trade for him. This yeah. is a good uh, buy low possibility, huh? I, I can see him turning it around. Okay. All right, well, we appreciate you guys watching this video. Before we let you go, we just want to tell you about Travis Kelsey. You can pick that bad boy up by commenting, liking, and subscribing to our videos. We'll mail one out to you free of charge. With all of that being said, and our Jonathan Taylor... Love, I guess, now. We appreciate you watching. And always remember, finish, finish first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws to Pete Crabtree, has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.